now with Quinn, you know, as a coach, just what have you thought about the details that he focuses on and kind of like the workflow of everyone, you know, gelling together under, under him right now? No, yeah, I really like it. It's uh, um, refreshing just to have a coach come in here and um, with the energy he puts forth, the, like you said, the attention to detail and what he wants us to do defensively, offensively, or whether it be something just as small as him telling you exactly what he wants you to be on the court yeah. or telling you exactly what he wants here and there. It just helps, you know, my mental process, you know, going through shoot around. So, um, as I said, refreshing to, to have coach do what he do what he do, do what he's doing in the program. Yeah, I know Dante mentioned a couple days ago, just like even the first day he was really trying to build relationships one through fifteen. Like have you noticed him going around and having those conversations just individually with people too? Oh yeah, big time. He's uh, still trying to feel I feel like feel everyone out yeah. who they are and trying to coach everybody according to how he feels that they should be coached for them to get the most out of them. And um, you know, it's still what his third, fourth day. Sorry, third or fourth day. So he's still, still feeling it out. But I can see he's just trying to jump into it. He's not scared. He's just sugarcoating anything. He's just yeah. trying to be him and adjust to us as well in the process. With a team like the Blazers, like it's still good to take advantage of them defensively, but offensively, they're one of the you know top five offensive teams in the league. Have you talked about? Like slowing down a guy like Dame as a team because I know he said defensively like it's individual battles but it also is all five guys working together too like how do you slow down a guy like Dame? Yeah, for sure. So understanding the game plan and understanding as as he said this morning he's ahead of the snake yeah. and um, you know if you can slow him down the, the entire team gets slowed down. Big part of what they do. So that's understanding how he wants us to guard them, guard Dame specifically, mm -hmm. and then the defense being able to rotate, have each other's back, and um, just make up for. Obviously, you know, the different looks we probably going to try to throw at game. So just, again, being locked in to, yeah. to understanding what he wants and attacking um, the other team as well. Has there been a lot of defensive adjustments for you guys, like since, you know, transitioning from Nate to, to Quinn, or is it just like maybe small things? Slightly, yeah. yeah. I, I would say a big adjustment, you know, the what we call things, the names we have, the codes, and um, how we guard certain things are changing a little bit. But it's, it's only so much you can do right now. Yeah. But... Um, He's trying to implement small things, and uh, I feel like he's still figuring it out himself and uh, what he wants. You know, like I said, what he wants to do exactly, but uh, he's not trying to give us too much. Going back a couple of weeks, did you lose like an all-star vacation and you get hurt right before the break, or do you still kind of get to carry through on it? That was a little bit uh, of, of, of a weird one because I had a concussion, so I technically wasn't supposed to do anything, or do any physical uh, activity. So. I kind of got to rest, even though, you know what I mean, I was I had a concussion, so it worked out, but it wasn't, um, it was a little weird, you know. Did you lose, like, your travel plans, though? <laughs> no, no, I, I didn't have to, you know, not watch TV or stay away from light or um, any of that type of stuff. I, I think it was a, a concussion, but it was just a milder one that allowed me to, to rest and, and just rest, so. Um, just mad, I had to get knocked in the head. How is the oh no you go? I would know why not basketball related. I just want to ask you like a big picture question. Like you look at the numbers across the board, like offense, 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 points everywhere. What do you think the future of defense is for the next five years or so? Like what's what's going to be the trend to kind of get a grip on some of this stuff? Um, you know, again, I say it again. One thing you caught on is change. Coach said that the other day and. There's probably just going to be another change in the rules, or there's probably going to be another way the game is being officiated um, as they change the game to now because they, they wanted guys to have more transition buckets and more fast break points, so they took away the Euro foul. You know what I mean? Simple things like that. I feel like NBA is really good at figuring out how to improve the product without diminishing it as well um, or diminishing the, the way the game is played. So. I can't tell you, I wish you could be a little bit more physical, or I wish I could be, but there's, there's probably going to be a way in the future that just changes the way we defend. How was uh, the team event yesterday, and who do you think had the best route out of everybody? You know, our, our group, uh, you know, definitely had the better beat making skills, the better, <laughs> you know, um, you know uh, what, what do you call it, the engineering skills yeah. in, the, in the studio. Um, the other group, you know, is a little bit of a... Uh, the African player, you know what I mean? They, they had that Afro beat, you know, uh, energy over on the other side. So, 
Um, it was good. It was a nice little battle. Yeah. But I, I gotta gotta go with the home team. Yeah. But uh, there was a there was a nice show <laughs> on the other side with uh, Don Cannon, Bruno, and CC. They, yeah. <laughs> they can make a little with, they can make a little Afro beat tune. So uh, I gotta give it kudos to them. But we we can make a beat ourselves as well. So that was fun. I actually yeah. see those guys over there, Generation Now, and they showed a lot of love. So we're just grateful. Cool. Cool.